Hey everyone, so right now I am packing for a road trip. So I decided to show you what's in my luggage because I did a what's in my carry on video and you guys seem to like that video. So I'm going to be showing you what's in my luggage and I don't really have that many tips but hopefully I can try to find some tips to tell you while I'm filming the video. Okay, so right here is my luggage, suitcase, bag thing, and then I have my purse, my phone, my camera bag, and my brush, and then I also have another suitcase. So I'll just start with this suitcase. This is what you saw before in my What's in My Carry-On. So in this first pocket, I have my camera charger for the camcorder that I'm currently using. Then right here, I have my iPhone charger. And then in this suitcase, I have mostly like shoes. So right here, I have my Vans. Right here, I have my slippers, my towel, because I don't really know if they'll have like towels in the cabin that we're staying in. Then I just have some snacks. And then I have this bag for snowboarding, so I can just like put it on my back. And it has like really thick gloves in there. And then I have my winter jacket right here and it's like this really thick warm jacket and that pretty much takes up my entire suitcase so that's why I had to bring a different suitcase just for this so like I said before this is my camera bag and then right here I have mostly toiletries so this is my toothpaste toothbrush floss then I have my deodorant I really like this deodorant it's the Dove clinical protection um, revive one and then I have this my glam bag and right here I keep liquid makeup so I keep in a plastic bag even though I'm not flying and the reason for that is because when you go to high elevation like the products can like blow up and kind of get bigger so I feel like makeup products are more likely to explode when you're going on a road trip to high elevation more than they would when you're going on an airplane so I keep them in this plastic bag and right here I have the L'Oreal BB, BB Cream, my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer, my, my Maybelline Concealer, my Blink Mascara which I really like, and then this x out um, like oil free something to prevent oil, and then a perfume and this is Alien. I like to bring mini perfumes because um, I don't want to bring a full bottle so I just have the sample ones that you get from like Macy's and Sephora. Then right here I just have my razor. In here um, I have mostly stuff from like my everyday makeup bag. So I'm not really going to go into detail with this but if you want to see what's in my everyday makeup bag I will link that video below. But I just added this lip balm by um, CoverGirl and I really like this. This is in Hibiscus Hibiscus number 215 and then I have some brushes in there powder this brown eyeshadow in case I want to like all over lid color or crease color and then my MAC paint pot in bear study and I really like this and right here I have more toiletries so I have like products that I bring on pretty much every trip because they're mini and for some reason they seem to last forever so right here I have the St. Ives green tea scrub the St. Ives um, apricot scrub, which a lot of people seem to like. I think it's okay. And then right here I have my clean and clear um, eye makeup remover. I really like this. And I'm kind of sad I can never find a full size of this. Right here I have Pantene conditioner. Garnier Fructis conditioner, which I got from Walmart. And like this little travel bag. Um, baby shampoo for makeup brushes. Then I have a um, moisturizer. And this I got in a My Glam bag. I have shampoo. And this is a Vita Rosemary Mint. And I just got this in a hotel. I have a shampoo and conditioner by Pantene. And I got this in the Sandman, I believe, in Vancouver, Canada. And then I have some makeup removing wipes. This is a simple one. I really like these. And this is Neutrogena. I don't really like these because they make my face feel like greasy. And then I have just like fuzzy socks and a bunch of other socks and like wool socks, hoodie, um, scarf, just a bunch of clothes down here. 
And then this pile is also closed. So right here I have some hats from Cotton On. Pajamas, sweaters, skinny jeans. So yeah, this is like all clothes piled up right there. And I decided not to roll up my clothes this time. Because sweaters I feel like are just so chunky. So it would be kind of a pain to roll it up. So I just decided to fold them. And yeah, I recommend rolling up clothes if it's like summer clothes or whatever but whatever I'm only going for four days so I didn't really need that many clothes right here I have just like miscellaneous stuff so I have toiletries um sunscreen so I don't get sunburnt because you can get sunburnt in the snow while you're like snowboarding most people don't know that but I think it's something to do with like the snow like the sun reflects off the snow and can sunburn you and then I have some like children's Tylenol because I sometimes get really bad headaches and I like children's Tylenol because it tastes better and I don't like swallowing pills. And then I have a um, goodie comb for like after a shower when I brush my hair because I don't use a regular brush because that can like pull your hair out and stuff. Then I have cough drops with Echinacea. Um, it's Honey Lemon by Ricola. And I don't know, in case I get a sore throat, I decided to bring these. And then here I have green tea. This is the Tazo Zen green tea, and I really like this tea. Just in case they don't have tea at the cabin. Then what is this? I just have glasses. And yeah, that's pretty much it in that. And now my purse really quickly. So this is what I'm going to have when I am, like, in the car. So I have my scarf from H&M. I have money. That's not really important. Um, I have some gloves from Target, and these are like touchscreen compatible for my iPhone, so that's good. Then I have some vitamin water in case I get thirsty. My wallet. Um, some band-aids because I had to buy these when I was in San Francisco because my ankle started bleeding. So I just keep that in my purse just in case. And then I have this new skin glow stick because. My friend actually worked at New Skin, and I don't know, I just have it in here in my purse. I guess it's good to have a glow stick in your purse in case of emergencies. Um, my EOS lip balm in Sweet Mint. This is my favorite um, flavor for EOS lip balms. And then I have like a bunch of just like snacks, like fruit snacks and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. And then I think in this pocket... I have a movie ticket for The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. I really like this movie, so I recommend it. I'm actually a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so it's probably, I'm kind of, like, biased, but, yeah. And then, here I have my Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer and fresh-picked strawberries. This smells so good. Everybody loves this scent. Um, then I have the Bath & Body Works antibacterial moisturizing hand lotion and um, I really like this because it's moisturizing and I'm getting dry hands for some reason and it's also antibacterial so I decided to bring this in my purse and it's a nectar mint I really like this scent and then I just have like a whole bunch of change so that was everything in my luggage um I guess suitcases for this road trip I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know a lot of you guys really liked my last one so I decided to do it again um I don't know if you guys want me to do one like every single time I go on a trip or I don't know I decided to do this one because it was a road trip hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys later